Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. In this art prompt demo, I'm going to dare you to challenge your creativity. I'll show you how I took on the challenge of doing two intuitive abstract warm-up paintings in 15 minutes from the same prompt. So doing a challenge like this can lead to more instinctual and spontaneous paintings. And it will, it will definitely help you not overthink. And it can push you out of your comfort zone. And let's be honest, that's when a lot of learning and development happens. The prompt is number 39 in 50 abstract warm-up painting prompts. I'll leave a link to that download in the description. So here's the prompt. You have 15 minutes to paint. For paint, um, you can use the closest you have to cadmium red, lemon yellow, cerulean blue, and you can use black and white as well. I was out of lemon yellow, so I'm using Hans yellow. The goal is to create an intuitive abstract painting, including marks from a pencil and pen, or pen, uh, but don't paint to the margins. Leave the edges rough and imperfect. So I started making marks with pen on both pages in my sketchbook, and I decided for this exercise to go with a little bit thinner layer of acrylic paint to create an effect that more closely resembles watercolor painting, something that is a little different than what I normally do. So I'll switch back and forth between working on each painting. Uh, now, keep in mind these are timed warm-up paintings and they're not meant to be masterpieces. Matter of fact, when I finished both of these, I wasn't too fond of either one. But this painting session isn't meant to create amazing art. This quick exercise is meant to push us and loosen us up and get our creative side working and to have fun painting. And hopefully, you'll come away with some new ideas. So just like I did before painting these, remember to set your expectations before you start. So one of the great things about having one of each primary color is that you can create so many other colors if you want. Although <laughs> I didn't really have a lot of time to do much mixing, um, I did a little bit. And I'm painting in sketchbooks with 98 pound or 160 GSM mixed media paper that I've taped off to 8 by 8 inch or 20.3 by 20.3 centimeter square. And I, when I started this, I thought yellow would be kind of my dominant color in both of these. So I went ahead and laid yellow down over, over the marks that I made and then just started reacting uh, to some of the shapes that I saw and mixing a little bit of, of the colors together uh, to make sure that I'm getting all three of those colors down. I didn't use black at any point other than the pen. Um, and uh, I used just a little bit of white. But I'd be interested to read in the comments if anyone sees anything at the end in these paintings. Uh, I have my thoughts, but I'm not going to say because I don't want to influence what, what you might see. So these time to warm up painting exercises put focus on intuition and spontaneity. And a challenge like this pushes you to really uh, rely on your gut feelings and your instincts. And you're more likely to make quick, spontaneous decisions since you don't have much time to focus on every detail. And this can build your creative impulses and, and possibly discover new techniques or styles or ideas uh, that you might not have found through a more deliberate method. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's a secret uh, that we probably all overanalyze our art to some extent. I know I do. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a challenge that, you know, by sticking to that short time limit, you're less likely to get caught up in second guessing your decisions. And that almost forces you to be a little more free with what and how you're painting, which is great for creating intuitive abstract art. And I think this, this also can boost your confidence with abstract painting. It shows you that, that you can create something intuitively and expressive without overthinking. And again, that doesn't mean it has to be amazing or even good, but the more you do it, the better you'll feel about what you make. And if you like this video, feel, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, other tutorials, art demos and challenges, 
don't hesitate to subscribe. And as always, if you have any feedback or questions, I'd, I'd love for you to leave me a comment. And please let me know if you have any painting prompts that you use or if you have one that you would like me to make a video on, leave those in the comments. I have a, a list going of, of prompts that I want to work, uh, work on videos for. So love to add to that. But setting these, these kinds of intuitive art challenges um, really kind of push you out of your comfort zone and, and, you know, forces you to engage with materials and ideas or techniques that you might not normally consider. Um, you know, this, this can broaden your artistic capabilities, I guess, um, which in a sense will help you expand your comfort zones. And let's be practical. They don't all feel good. Uh, you'll paint some real duds, as we all do. And you might come away feeling like you learned nothing from that warm-up painting session. Uh, but whether you realize it right away or not, you did take something away from it. A couple of takeaways I wrote down after this challenge. Um, I realized that I rarely have ever changed the orientation of the painting right after my initial marks to look at them from a different perspective. I change orientations often after I've been painting a while, but not early on. And doing that sooner could potentially change the whole direction I go in. And my other note was um, that I really like not painting to the margins, uh, but I rarely do it. So those were just a couple of things that I jotted down after this. But doing regular art prompt challenges like this can, can help establish a habit of consistent practice, which is fundamental to improving any creative endeavor. So I hope you'll, you'll give this challenge a try, and maybe even a few times. And remember, when it's all said and done, it's just painting. It's fun, so play, enjoy yourself, um, don't take it too seriously. Um, it's all a learning process, but I'll show you coming up here the the final versions of these. And again, I you know I, there are things in each one of these that I that I like um, and that I might take away and, and play with in other paintings. But overall, I can't say these are you know two of my favorite warm up paintings I've ever done. But it was a great exercise. So here is uh, the first one in different orientations. And that's probably my favorite of the two. And then here is the second one. But there are things I like about each of these. And I really like the pen marks that I made. Um, I just need to focus on those a little early on. So thanks for watching and keep on painting.